Hi. I just wanted to come on with a quick update and to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed and shared these videos. Thank you for continuing to put effort into sharing the ideological capture of the mental health field. It's so important that we as consumers and clients and as well as practitioners and students push back against this this ideological threat to what could be a very beautiful resource for many people and what has been a, a wonderful resource for many people, including myself over the years. I have received a lot of communication from other students, from practicing counselors and psychologists, and from people who have interacted with this ideology and therapy as clients as well. And I have put out a couple of videos, which you've probably seen or, or have seen up on the channel. Uh, the first one was with Katie, and then I spoke with Talia. And both of these were fantastic um, women who came forward and were willing to, to share and, and talk about how this ideology impacted them during their studies. I have recorded a video this morning with Neil that's going to come out this week. He is in the UK and also encountered this in a, in a counseling training program there. And it had a major impact on his decision to continue um, on his career track. I think that you'll enjoy his story and, and find it valuable. I certainly did. I have a number of other conversations. I hesitate to call them interviews. I guess they are kind of interviews, but it's just really a conversation and allowing someone um, some space to, to share their own experiences. And so you're not just hearing this from me, you're hearing it from a number of voices. This isn't just one school doing this. I've, uh, this school may be a bit extreme, but from what I'm hearing, it is representative of something that's going on pretty much everywhere in the United States and in um, the UK and perhaps in Canada as well. I'm getting feedback from all around that this is something that people are encountering everywhere. So I don't think this is an Antioch specific program. This, this new initiative to uh, remake counselors into social change agents for social justice. So um, thank you all for, for your attention to this and for listening to these people share their stories. Please feel free to share them far and wide. And I, um, I have been speaking with an attorney. I still have not made a decision on who I am going to hire for representation. I have a couple of meetings this week. I have some very good claims that I can bring forward against Antioch. I feel very good about this, but uh, as of yet, I am still making some final decisions around that, how to, how to proceed with that. And meantime, I'm getting very sparse communication from them they haven't really responded to my letter that I wrote to them. They, they gave a, like a, a little hold please kind of response where they let me know that they were going to take some time to consider what I wrote to them. So that's, that's sort of pending. And meantime, I'm not getting very much communication from them. I did just get a newsletter from the Justice Leadership Council, which I'll share with you now, because I thought this was just more kind of more of the same stuff. So let's see, this was what it is. This is probably coming up kind of small on the screen, but this is how they sent it. It's just a fall 2022 um, newsletter from them. And I don't know if you're hearing about this. This was my first time ever hearing that, that they're trying to replace the Thanksgiving holiday with a day of mourning. Um, and this is sort of turning the Thanksgiving story into a tragedy for Native Americans and, and replacing Thanksgiving with that. So if you click on this, it opens this up. Let's see, here we go. And this is about this day of mourning. And I just found this really surprising. And I, I, I wonder what other people think of this. Again, it's just this bias. It's, uh, it's the kind of thing that, I guess I, I could see this being something we would talk about for sure, but I don't know 
about replacing Thanksgiving. What do you guys think? It seems pretty extreme to me. And uh, somebody else in one of the comments I read on one of my videos talked about the justice leadership that I was sharing stuff that was not part of the school curriculum. It was just, maybe it was just little newsletters and as if the, this was not as central to my trainings, which it's not, it's not as central as being uh, taught to you in a class, but this is what informs the classes. So I just wanted to pull this up and kind of show you guys what this is. This is Antioch's Justice Leadership Council. And so Antioch University Justice Leadership Council, it says it is a group of students, faculty and staff that ensures university-wide accountability for the authentic living of our mission for equity, fairness, unity, and welcoming all voices to speak their truth. Well, except for mine, of course, because they told everybody not to watch my video because it's harmful. Um, so their mission is to ensure university-wide accountability for that. That's the same thing they just set up there. Their vision and let's see. This stood out to me here. Support Antioch University, New England to develop change agents in all aspects of their lives. So that's what they're doing. And this is informing their counseling departments and how they train counselors. And again, this is, these counselors don't graduate with a social justice degree, they graduate with a counseling degree and they go on to be counselors in all mainstream spaces where you'd find counselors. So I tried to take their survey and I'm blocked out of it. So I'm not allowed to take the survey. So again, something's going on with my student account where I somehow have some access, but not full access. Recruitment and retention of black students, amplifying black voices, non-binary infrastructure. So you see, this is the schools. This is a this is a central part of the school. It's not some fringe group. Anyway, this is just meant to be a quick little hello and thank you and um, and just a, an opportunity to voice my appreciation for all the work that others are doing around this issue. And I think that it's just very important that we, we continue to push back, we continue to try to reclaim um, ground from this, this social justice cultural revolution and, uh, and call it out where we see it. And uh, thank you for listening.